So here we continue creating our iOS app for picking six lucky numbers. So last time in Xcode, using the Interface Builder tool, we laid out our interface. Here you can see running in the simulator, we have various objects like labels and we've got buttons that will display our six lucky numbers. We've got our big pick button that will eventually be used to pick six new lucky numbers. We threw in a segment of control that allow us to specify the, the maximum number to use, whether our lucky numbers are between 1 and 49 or between 1 and 56. And so we laid these out and these were all placed into a nib file. And a nib file contains the serialized instances of these view objects. And so when the associated view controller is loaded from the bundle, all these objects will be deserialized. And so we'll focus more on, on how to create hooks for these objects later. Obviously our interface does nothing yet. So now we're going to switch over and work on the model object. So we're using the model view controller software design pattern. So last time we created the view objects. And the view objects are the objects that the user sees and interacts with. So now we're going to go under the hood and work on our soul model object, which is going to actually generate the lucky numbers. So model objects are UI agnostic objects that aren't aware of what the user interface is like. Their, their job is merely the, the internal application logic. So that's what we're going to focus on now is, is creating our class for generating lucky numbers, all right? And then we'll hook up the controller so that the model and the views can actually communicate and create a, a, a working app. So I'm gonna go back into Xcode and I'm going to create a new file. And I'm gonna do an iOS Cocoa Touch Objective-C class next. And this is just going to, the class we're gonna create here for our lucky number generator is just going to be a subclass of NS object, which is typical of a lot of simple model objects. And I'm gonna call it lucky numbers. All right. All right. And so make sure it's targeted to our app. And you'll notice that Xcode creates some very basic skeleton code for our, in our header file we have our interface which obviously is just the definition of our class and it's super class and you can see in the implementation is, is very bare, right? So, all right, so let's first work on the interface. So the first thing in the interface we're gonna have, we're gonna, we're gonna create a property that's gonna hold the maximum number, which in our case is going to be either a 49 or a 56. Now this is just a simple integer primitive, so I'm going to just use assign semantics. This is going to be in, this is not going to be in multi-threaded code, so I'm going to, it's safe to go ahead and make, to, to, to have it to be non-atomic. I'm going to use an NS integer, and I'll call this uh, max number, right? So there's our, our property holding the maximum number, all right? So we're going to need uh, an initializer, and we'll call our initializer init with max number. So when it's created, we'll allow the user to speci specify what the initial um, maximum value is. Now, when the, the C compiler is going to actually generate setters and getters based on our semantics. Um, but I'm actually going to create my own setter for setting the max number property that's going to, because I want to do more than just set the max number, I actually probably in some cases want to pick a whole new set of six lucky numbers whenever the max number changes. So I'm going to actually create my own version of set max number. So I'm going to call it set max number and we'll also create a stub for that. We're going to need a method so that the the clients can actually access each the max numbers. So, so each of our numbers, so I'll call it number and, the, and you're going to pass it an index for which of the numbers the user desires. So I will have I be an index from 0 to 5. So the user can fetch each of the lucky numbers. And we're going to want a way for the client to actually pick a new lucky number. So we'll use, so they're going to decide which of the lucky numbers they want to pick. That'll, that'll actually be where the heart of our lucky number generator 
will exist. And then we'll provide a convenience routine for picking six new numbers. So that will be a convenience routine that we use. All right, so there's essentially our, our interface. Now, I haven't defined where to store our six numbers yet. We'll do that in a moment. But let's go ahead and work on the, the implementation. So I'm going to go in the implementation. It doesn't seem that Xcode has a way to create these body stubs for me, so I'll do it myself. And let's see. So here we go. I suppose Xcode probably has a way to do this. I don't know what it is. So anyway, so there's some stubs. Um, so this is going to be fairly boilerplate code for our initializer. We're going to call the, the uh, superclasses init method. There's some boilerplate code for that. And so, so what I want to do is I'm going to set the maximum number. Now I could do it this way. I could say set max number equals max. Now if we do this, it'll actually invoke our setter method. I'm actually going to avoid doing that at this point. I'm actually going to just write directly to the instance variable that's backing the property. So since I have a property in a max number, the corresponding instance variable that's backing that property I know is called underscore max number. So this is just going to write directly to that instance variable without calling our, our, our setter method. So, And then just to make sure that we have some initial lucky numbers, I'm going to go ahead and invoke the pick all numbers, uh, pick all numbers method, and that's it for our initializer. Now, for our setter method, what we're going to do is, is I'm first going to examine the the value that's that's passed to us, and if it's already the same as the current maximum number, then then I'm going to do nothing. Um, but if it's not equal. Right? If I've got a new maximum number, I'm going to go ahead and, and set, the, set the maximum number to the given value. And I'm, in this case, I'll go ahead and pick, pick all new numbers. Now, it's very important here that I do this by assigning to the instance variable. If I did something crazy like this, then I would actually be calling myself recursively because this would actually call my setter method set max number and uh, I don't want to do that. So I want to just assign directly to the instance variable backing that particular property. All right, so that was fairly easy. So my getter for fetching each of the six lucky numbers is actually pretty simple, but we, we haven't actually defined a place to store our six lucky numbers. So I'm actually in the implementation I'm going to create a very simple instance variable that I'm going to just call numbers, and I'm just going to use a good old-fashioned CRA to store our six lucky numbers. Maybe I'll go ahead and use NS integer for the storage type. And so our this routine is going to be quite simple. I'm just going to return numbers sub i. So not much to that. So pick number is kind of the heart of this algorithm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick, so this is going to pick one of my lucky numbers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a lucky number randomly and I'm going to see that that number is not already used. If that number is not unique, then I'm going to generate another one. And I'll keep doing that until I get a unique random number and that will be the lucky number. So I'm going to start by um, defining a, a flag called named unique that I'll, that I'll use to, to, hold, to flag whether the current number is, is unique or not. I'm going to have um, an integer to hold my my um, lucky number. You know, I should actually have pick number actually return an NS integer. So I'm going to actually change this. I'm going to go into the header file and change this as well, just to be consistent that I'm using NS integers. All right, so let's go back. Let's go back to here. All right. So I'm going to use a do while loop. And so I'm going to assume, I'm going to initially assume that our number is unique. So here's the magic. So here's I'm going to generate a random number. So I'm going to call arc for random. That's going to generate a, a random integer, a random non-negative integer. And I'm going to modulo by our max number. And so that'll, right here, that'll generate a random number between 0 and max number minus 1. 
So if I add one, that'll actually generate a random number between one and max number, which is exactly what I want. So now I need to determine whether that number is actually actually unique or not. So I'm going to loop through all the the other values, and if n happens to equal one of these other numbers, then I know it's not unique. So I'm going to go ahead and set my unique flag to false or to no, and then break out of here. And I'm going to keep looping as long as, as it's, I haven't generated a unique number. So eventually, I should generate a unique number. And at that point, I'm going to go ahead and set that unique number. And I'm actually going to return it as well. So let's go ahead and put a return statement in there. So, so there we go. All right. So that's it. That's that's the way we're. That's our secret for picking lucky numbers. Um, so it's all going to be in, in arc four random. So we pass the buck to arc four random for picking our lucky numbers. So let's write our convenience routine for picking all new numbers. Now I want. So the first thing actually I'm going to do is I'm going to first set all the all the numbers all the numbers to to minus one so so I'm going to generate a complete fresh set of numbers set them all to minus one so I, so they're all going to kind of start from scratch picking a set of unique numbers and ignore any previous state so now I'm going to loop through um, each of these again and I'm simply going to Call self uh, pick number i. There we go. And I don't, I don't need these curly braces, so I'm gonna get rid of them. And that's it. So there's there's our convenience routine. So let's go ahead and save that. So so there's our quick implementation of our lucky number generator. Nothing too magic. All right. So now we've actually defined a class. Now we each actually want to create an instance of this class. We're gonna do this in the controller. So I'm going to into my one view controller. So I'm going to go in my view controller. And I'm going to create a new property that's going to hold an instance of my lucky numbers class. So the first thing I'm going to do is inform the compiler that there, my class actually exists. I could actually include the 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 header file, import the header file for it here, but um, it's actually a little quicker. I like to just just tell the compiler that it exists. So I'll do it that way. I'll use the class the class directive just to say, hey, the lucky numbers class exists. You don't need to know anything specific about it yet. So we'll worry about that later. So I'm going to add a property. Now this is going to be an object, and it's, I'm going to use reference counting. So I'm going to make sure that it's a strong reference. And again, I'm, it's this is a non-threaded code, so I'm just going to make it non-atomic. And I'll call it, and we'll name it lucky numbers. So there's there's our property that's going to hold our six lucky numbers, All right? So let's go in to find out, we gotta actually create this. So where do we create this? So I'm gonna go into the implementation of this. Now there's several places that we could actually implement this. Um, and that with nib name is gonna get called um, when the controller is pulled out of the, out of the nib, or, or when the nib associated with the controller is pulled out of the, all the controls are pulled out of the nib file. We can do it there. We, there's a, another kind of common place to do this stuff is, is in awake from nib. Um, I'm not going to do it there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it lazily. I'm going to do it the first time the view is, is loaded. So let's, let's go ahead and do it there. So I'm going to go ahead and import my uh, lucky numbers header file. And I'm going to say if self dot lucky numbers is nil, then then I'm going to go ahead and, and create my new lucky numbers. Alec init. So actually, I'm going to use init with max number, and I'm just going to hardwire that to 49. Uh, to 49 for right now. We'll figure out that later. So anyway, so we're going to stop there for now, and we'll do the rest in, in a moment.